Hello everyone, I'm Wags, and I am going to open up this Night Wonder box that I got in Japan on release about three weeks ago. I've been holding on to it so that I can open it up with you guys. In my previous video, I mentioned that if you guys submit your latest pull to wagstcg at gmail.com, that I will post it on my next video. Jackson was recently in Japan and he managed to pull a full Art Gyarados from Scarlet EX. It's really fitting that he got that pull because we're also going to be opening up some Japanese cards today. Our Night Wanderer box has 30 packs. Each pack has five cards. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take three packs. We're going to take three packs here and I will open them and then show the 15 cards. So you guys are probably wondering how my Japan trip was. Uh, and I will tell you throughout the video. I also have a video coming up over the next few days that will show you some... Ooh, we got an ace card to start us off. We're going to put that to the side. Uh, Kairoom. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background on uh, what I did. I have a video coming out over the next few days uh, that will give you some of the places that I visit. visited. I opened packs throughout the time. I went on a Pokemon adventure, did Pokemon Go. Uh, I went to Pokemon Centers. Um, goodness, what else did I do? There was so much that I did and I want to show it in a video um, in addition to this Night Wanderer box. I opened up plenty of packs. I did pull uh, my Night Wanderer chase card. In one of the first few packs that I did, I didn't want to open this box, but I got a couple singles and uh, I'm happy to share you that, but not right now. I'm going to keep you guys waiting what my chase card is uh, because I did pull it. Zubat. All right, let's see what we could get here. And that is our first mega pack. Whew, okay, so if I seem out of it at all, it's because I am out of it. I got back yesterday and I went, ooh, we got our first EX card. It is Viviroom. Um, okay, and yeah, I didn't really sleep. It was about 36 hours of travel time, uh, and then there's a 12-hour difference between Tokyo and where I live here in Ontario. Um, so I'm a little tired, I'm a little out of it, but I did want to open this box as one of the first things that I did coming back. Um, the trip was great, by the way. Uh, we pulled... Uh, goodness what did we got a couple of singles as well to add to my Yukimori collection uh, I also tried some of those crane games to try to get cards didn't have much luck I did manage to get myself this red eyes black dragon so there were happened to be a release of red eyes black dragon by uh, Bandai Namco that week that I was there and I just had to get it. I've been looking for a red eyes black dragon collectible for a long time and it, it, it was calling to me one of the things I enjoyed most about my trip was the food itself. Uh, the yen is not doing so hot right now, and because of that, food was super cheap and delicious. Uh, I tried McDonald's at one point, and there is a major difference. If you're looking for McDonald's and you want a greasy, fatty uh, Big Mac, Japan isn't the place for that. Um, their beef... Oh, and we get a first art card. There we go. Nice pull. Here we go. Let's go. Ooh, boy. As I mentioned, I did get my chase card. I don't want to say it because, uh, yeah, it was like one of the first Night Wanderer packs I opened. I Oh, and we get a full art. We get a full art. I can't remember the name. I, I actually did play the games, by the way, guys. Some of the places that I visited, and I'll showcase in the video uh, when I post it over the next few days. Actually, it might take a little longer. We'll see how long it takes me to edit it. There's a lot of videos to go through. I did a, a lot of video taking. Um, I went to, I started off in Tokyo. And then from Tokyo, we went to Osaka and Kyoto. We did a couple day trips to Kobe to get some Kobe beef. Um, and we went to Nara and Uji. Uji is a beautiful place. Um, I highly recommend if you ever go there for, just go there for a quick visit. We did a little sunset action. I'll post a, a picture right now. Um, so yeah, we did that. Um, and then we went to Hiroshima. Hiroshima, the the vibe in that place, yeah, it's a, it, it's a beautiful place, but there's something there's something special about it. Um, and then we went to Hakone, and then back to Tokyo. Oh, we got the horsey! Nice pull. There we go. And cards there are super cheap, super super cheap. Yeah, when I got there, I think uh, yeah, Night Wonder was already on sale by like day two at some of the card shops, like Yellow Submarine. Uh, Yellow Submarine was a one of the places that I had gone to. There was a lot of really good places there. Um, that and of course the Pokemon Center were selling in it for about 180 yen, which was about a dollar fifty Canadian or a ooh, there's a Pheasantipity. See, I do remember the names. It just doesn't always come to me. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Chat packs are super cheap, but you only get five cards. So if you were to multiply it by two, um, it's still a little less than the English. And I think, as I mentioned, a part of that is because the yen is not doing so hot right now. The Canadian dollar isn't doing uh, any better itself, though. All right, let's see what we could get here. We've been doing pretty well, actually, I think. Um, 
yeah, other than the the chase card, I, I wasn't so, I wasn't doing so hot in uh, in my Japan pulls, but the chase card was all that mattered. The box itself, the box itself, I think I got it for forty five dollars Canadian, which is kind of insane, um, considering how much we're paying for boxes here. But like I said, the card, the number of cards are quite different, and that obviously impacts it a little bit. Um, even singles were super cheap. It's funny. Uh, oh, I got a pull. Oh, we get the. Uh, Oh, what's his name? It's Pheasantipity something Ippity. Oh, Sorry, guys. I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, the singles were super cheap. I did get a few singles. The Night Wanderer singles, it's really funny. You could probably get the whole set for like less than you get the box for. Um, but, you know, the whole point we do this is, is because it's fun. It's the, the hunt for the card, the chase for the card. And uh, to, yeah, to share our pulls with you guys. Um, okay, let's see. Nothing, nothing. And a Hypno. If you guys ever end up going to Japan in June, uh, it is hot. It was probably like 35 degrees uh, Celsius, whatever that ends up being in Fahrenheit, uh, almost every day. So it was really, really hot, um, but it was still great. Uh, I'm not one to hate hot. Um, living in Canada, I am constantly cold for half of the year, and I much prefer... Uh, here's an EX card. I much prefer the warmth. So yeah, it wasn't too bad for me. It just meant that we had to take a lot more breaks, drink a lot more water um, to get through our day. Okay, let's see, we could pull and we get the hypno to end it off again here on this this uh, mega pack, mega triple pack. Ooh, okay, so, so far we have about what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight pulls, um, two of which are art illustration cards. Um, we have one full art. Do we have a illustration uh do we have a special illustration here no i don't think so i don't think the horsey is right no i don't think it is let's see if we could pull something here now uh, in japan uh they have for the trainer cards they have like their own section for them just because they they're so much more valuable than the other cards as i mentioned the art cards you can get the entire set for you know each one for less than a dollar most of the time which is kind of crazy i know uh i know here you could get they they're usually about three four bucks the lesser ones are usually about a dollar, but you know, like the horsey, which here in the English one, I imagine is going to be worth a little, like a little chunk. And by a little chunk, I mean like four, four or five bucks maybe, but, um, yeah, there was only a dollar. So, you know, we're not much value in these cards, but yeah, man, those trainer cards, they are hot. They are pretty expensive. Um, like in one, five, one, the Erica is one of the most expensive cards. It's the females. It's really, Japan is really funny. They have a lot of like erotica, sexual erotica stuff right in the open, a lot of nudity right in the open children to see. It's kind of crazy. Um, like the animate store, they have like two floors dedicated to sexual manga, um, you know, for kids it's wild homosexual heterosexual um tentacle porn it is wild um how sexual those those japanese are um but yeah that was a that was one of the funniest things to come out of the japan trip is a lot of these weird sexual things there we go and i don't know if you guys noticed one of the other things that i got was the shirt it called to me once again the red eyes called to me and then the shirt called to me because i was a huge ape escape fan i don't know if you guys ever played ape escape um, but ape escape 2 is one of my favorite childhood games let's see what we could pull with our final mega pack three packs of five so 15 cards these are the last three here guys and then it's bedtime bedtime even though it's like 7 a.m here i i got up i did sleep for like three hours last night um but to me because the 12 hours everything is off um and i, I just woke up at three and i just couldn't get back to bed um so i just kind of sat around for a little bit oh and we get the dusk noir yes that's a good one so there are three duskal um dusklops and dusk noir that are part of this set and they are a little team pack they all have very similar backgrounds so very nice pull right there i'm happy I, I like Dust Noir. What was it? It came out in uh, Diamond and Pearl Light. It did play those games, actually. But um, yeah, it, it is one of my favorites to come from those games. I like that Dust Glops got a uh, pretty good evolution. So that is it. That is it. And that will about do it for today. I need to go take a nap. I'm a little tired. But the card of the day will be that horsey, one of the original 151. Um, and then it just comes in such a beautiful blue color. You know I like the blues. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Give me a like for the, the horsey, a follow for the Ape Escape 2, and I'll see you soon. Big videos coming up. I have a lot of content, so I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.